Hi, I'm Chris from Future Music. We're here on the Waldorf stand now at Music Mesa. Um, we're with Stefan and we've got a brand new uh, string synth yeah, yeah. called the Streichfett. Streichfett, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is that was quite good, yeah. Fat on toast or something, right? Yeah, somewhere like that. It's a play on words because Streicher in, in German means strings. So take us through it, let's have a look. Okay, so this is basically a recreation of a string machine, although it doesn't look like it. Um, we thought we make it smart by just putting all these registration you usually have on a single uh, knob. So. so you can sweep through all the different tones. Yeah, exactly. I can sweep through like like the. It starts with the normal square wave. Then a violin. Some command things. And I can even have it. I can automate this by the uh, uh, animate function. So explain to us the animate function. What, what uh, do you mean by the, that? The animate, so here we have registration, different mixing of the uh, uh, octave divider circuit and different uh, equalized filter settings. Okay. Yeah. So um, this animate function just animates the filter setting, the filter position. You can select more outer. Let's turn that off. So we also got a phaser here. Oh, we also got some reverb. Let's first read without reverb and then... This is perhaps a little bit much. So we got attack and release, which is for strange reason called crescendo here. Yeah. yeah. So that's the um, string part basically. So you have different octave settings. Yeah. Uh, you can blend that with the second part, with the, the solo section, which sounds as cheesy as in the original uh, string machines. So So you, you get the idea of that. Yeah, so to us it sounded a little bit like soft porn from the 80s and so on. Yeah. Like like this Billy thing. I, so. I wouldn't know about that. I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, so yeah. Um, so I mean take us through some of the other sounds, because it's got kind of more brassy, I mean all of that looks quite lush, but can it do quite sort of punchy? Yeah, we, we can just try to tweak the envelope. So we just turn off the reverb. So I, I, I'm afraid this is as punchy as it gets. So it's quite of the opposite of the rocket, which is yeah. always punchy because attack is always to zero. Uh, this is in so many respects the opposite. It is a, a quite of a lush thing as the string machines used to be. So the only punching So we get kind of funky though, can't it? Medieval funky. Yeah. So we get some some percussive part here on the solo section. Where there is also different settings around this. It's mainly supposed to be mixed with the strings. So, Tell us about the connections as well, like, we've got... Yeah, we, we got USB, which is also power supply, so if you wanted to play without computer, you need a USB um, power supply, which is included, I think. Yeah, the normal MIDI in and out, um, the, the line outs, 
which also mixed to mono or stereo if you only use one jack. Headphone out, yeah. Volume control. Yeah, the swing section is poly fully polyphonic. Show us so. that. So, it sounds strange, but it has 128 oscillators, which are always running. Yeah, And this uh, registration is just a mixture of these. Yeah. How the old string machines did that as well, internally. Yeah. When is it ready to buy and how much is it going to be? Uh, it's about like, a, a, let's say like six weeks, because so with the software we do some fine tuning anymore, but the thing we have to do will, we'll have to organize production and then it will Likely ship in like uh, six weeks, so in April. For what price? Uh, 270 something, I don't know, I forgot, 275 wow. euro, euro okay. or so, suggested price, suggested street price around 240 something or so.